Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Yashem, Yahweh Shah by Yashem, Bukhah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the others that rule well. Peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's kicking his word in sincerity and truth. Um, now, uh, when the so called white men came over here, which we know to be Edomites, you know, they uh, made many treaties with the, uh, the uh, so called Native Americans, which we know that they are actually Gadites. You see, there were uh, over uh, what, what, over 500 treaties that were made um, between the uh, the Edomites and the Gadites, and the uh, Edomites broke all five well, you know, over 500 um, treaties that they made with uh, the Gadites, man. You see, and it's just this is just a uh, an example of of how we know that the so-called white man has nothing to do with the scriptures, because there is a certain way that you're supposed to deal with the uh, inhabitants of a land. That you come, you know, that uh, uh, that come to your land, and also, you know, uh, foreigners or aliens that come to your land. You see, there's a certain way that you're supposed to deal, man. You're supposed to deal uprightly. Now, you know, you have the Edomites. They want to make the claim that you know, what I'm saying that God's chosen people, you know, what I'm saying are you know they're uh, a, a a part of uh, you know the Most High's promises. You know, the new, what I'm alluding to is the new covenant, things of that nature. Well, they don't, you know, they haven't done anything uh, according to the scriptures, man. You see, they want to say that they're Christian and they love everybody. They, have showed, they haven't showed anybody love, man. You see, and, you know, the premises of, of them, you know what I'm saying, uh, committing atrocities like the uh, massacre and uh, the decimation of the, uh, 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 the, uh, the native, so-called Native Americans, they want to, you know, say it's because, you know, uh, it was their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It was their destiny to manifest destiny and things of that nature, man, which we know is true, but they're set up on the left-hand side. You see, they had nothing to do with the, uh, uh, with the scriptures. They have nothing to do with the scriptures, you know. So I want to bring this out, you know, this, uh, this brief article and also, uh, cover a couple of scriptures, well, touch a couple of scriptures, going into the topic of how, you know, these Edomites, you know, have nothing to do with these scriptures, and they broke, uh, you know, the, the uh, yeah, you know, the, uh, the covenants that they had, you know what I'm saying, with the Native Americans, man, you see, so this is, uh, the part, uh, according to a blog, uh, partnership with Native Americans, treaties made, treaties broken, this is uh, by Helen uh, O'Life, and it says, uh, Kelly wrote that colonization created the condition of poverty on many American uh, Indian reservations to date. Many Americans have, mis mis uh, per ha have misperceptions that poverty should not exist on reservations because Native uh, 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 persons basic needs are taken care of under treaties. Over 500 treaties were made with American uh, Indian tribes, primarily for land secessions, but 500 treaties were also broken. Chains are nullified when it served the government's interests. And ex uh, an example of that is uh, what happened at Wounded Knee. You know, you had uh, you know, that pipeline being built you know, uh, on a reservation, on a, a uh, Gadite reservation, you know what I'm saying, which you had these Gadites protesting against it, you know, they didn't want it to be built, you know, that land, in their land, because it was going to pollute the water. And so they was out there protesting things of that nature, you know what I'm saying, for their land. And what did the so-called white man do? Well, he sick dog, dogs on them, shot at them, Took up arms, you see what I'm saying, and then lied about it, and lied and said that he wasn't gonna, uh, you know, uh, build the uh, pipeline on their land, you know, which he ended up doing anyway. And now their water supply is uh, polluted. The Native Americans, so-called Native Americans, the Gadites, you know, since the lowest chosen people, you know, their land 
you know what I'm saying, is uh is polluted. You know what I'm saying? The water supply is polluted. And nobody cares. These native these uh so called white people don't care. You know. It shows you again that they have nothing to do with these scriptures, man. You see. But um uh, this video below uh, about policies towards the La La Kate the Lakota Lakota uh, gives many examples of this and the practice was not limited to to tribes in the plains. It is also true that some uh, some tribes have no treaties and many tribes remain unrecognized as tribes by the federal government. This leaves them uh, without reservation tr uh, trust uh, land and federal uh, programming. The fact is that many native people are suffering and we should all care about it. But of course people don't care, man. You see what I'm saying? You so-called Native Americans, you so-called white people, you, you don't care, you know. And the two-thirds of our people, wicked of our people, they don't care either. You know, they are on the same um, vibration of, of the uh, so-called white man, you see. And that's why the Most High is going to come back and he's going to destroy this place, man. you see. Because, I, you know, the, the oppressors uh, speak loftily concerning oppression. You know, they tell our, they want to tell our people to get over it and, you know, say, get a job and stop drinking and blaming on, you know what I'm saying, our, our, our Gadite brothers, man. But in all actuality, you know what I'm saying, this is, these reservations and these hoods are your creation, man. You see? Our people try to do it the right way. They try to have treaties with you all, man. You know, but you, the so-called white man has proven to be uh, untrustworthy. He's a person, he, he's a... He's the man of uh, perdition, the man of hell, man. You see, you see the Satan on the planet Earth. You see, and for your treasury, you're gonna be destroyed, man. But let's stay on top of it. Don't want to be too emotional. This is Isaiah 21. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. And that's what they did. You know what I'm saying? With our Gallic brothers, man. That took that took their rights away. You see what I'm saying? And they have now they have our uh, uh, you know the majority of our Gadite brothers living in squalor on reservations, man. All and all this came from treaties that was created, you know what I'm saying, by the so called white man. And they used that as tools to oppress our people. You see, verse two. Uh, to turn aside the needy from, from judgment and to take it. Away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. And what will ye do in the day of visitation, in the and in, in, in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help, and where will ye leave your glory? That's right. So all all this wickedness, you know, what I'm saying that this, that the so-called white man has done, you know, how is he gonna escape in that day, man? You see what I'm saying? He's not going to escape. You know? When the, when his calamity comes from afar. Now we know that the Most High is putting his spirit on these, uh, these kings' minds to go to kill for World War III. And that's going to, uh, in accord to prophecy, that's going to end bad to that, to that whore, man. Which is known as the Mystery Babylon, which we know to be where? America. You see? So judgment is coming to this place of what you have done to our, uh, our Gadite brothers, man. You see, and if you you uh, so-called Native Americans are watching, you know, you're Gadites. You are the uh, you are you are one of the tribes of, of, of Israel, man. And the reason why the Most High put us through this hell is because we weren't following after His will and His way, and we started, uh, you know, following these these uh, these wicked gods, man. And so the so-called white man uh, was was used as a as as the sword of the Most High man to to correct us. But soon we're gonna we're gonna be uh, uh you know uh, amended man. You know the Most High is not gonna uh, allow us to be you know in this uh in this predicament you know forever man. And his true name is Yahweh. By Hashem, I said, I said, what I said was the Lord in the name of the world called Jesus Christ, Yahweh, to be, he is, you see, by Hashem in the name, 
Yahweh Shai, he delivers. You see? That power is going to uh, deliver us, man. You see? And how do we know that? Because of the scriptures. You see? The, 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 the wicked are going to be paid back for what they, what they have done. We know the so the wicked is the so-called white man, which is Edomites biblically, biblically man. Um, now, this is Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defied the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed there, therein, but by the but by but by the blood of him that shed. That's right. So, so-called white man has you know decimated our people. You know I'm saying the Native Americans, you know, the Tainos. You see the same saying, totally almost wiped them out. You see, the, you see. So for that, they they're gonna be destroyed, man. They're gonna be recompensed for the wicked for that wickedness, man. This is a uh, Deuteronomy uh, twenty and eleven, and it shall be. So like, let me start at ten. When thou come nigh unto a city to fight against it, then proclaim peace unto it, and it shall be if it make the answer of peace and open un unto thee, then it shall be that all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto thee, and they shall serve thee. So, what did the so-called white man do when he came and he, uh, you know, uh, interacted with the natives? Well, there's records that show that the, the, the Native Americans actually <clears throat> saved him you know what I'm saying? Uh, when when he was about to die over here, man. You see, he was, and then, you know, the the the, the Native Americans, the, the so-called Native Americans, got us help the the uh, Edomites. What did the Edomites do? Turn around and killed them, man. You see, and we, and our people were were at peace with the so-called white man. You see, so they 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 uh they they uh. You know, murdered our brothers unrighteously, man. And again, they're going to be destroyed for that. You see, they're not. You're not supposed to oppress a man, or, or, or oppress a stranger. If, if you're saying that you had the truth, like the so-called white man likes to say, he's so righteous, things that nature, man. You see, and you, and you know, he, and you believe in the scriptures. Why didn't you, you know, uh, deal with the Native Americans righteously, man? You didn't, because you're a murderous devil. You see. It's, this is Exodus 23 and 9. Also, thou shalt not oppress a stranger, for he know, for ye know that heart, your heart, of, for ye know the heart of a stranger, seeing ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. And this is our people. This is really going for our people. You know what I'm saying? The true uh, uh, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But since the so-called white man wants to touch this book, alluding to uh, Psalms of 50 chapter, man, the plagues of these books are going on now will be given unto him, man. You see, because he wants to uh, say that he's the Israel, the true Israelites, and he has the truth and things of that nature. Well, you're going to be judged according to this, uh, to, according to this book, and you have broke every book. I mean, uh, every law and statute and commandment in these, in, in the scriptures, man. You have done treacherously with everybody, even even your own people, and for that you're going to be destroyed by your help by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You see what I'm saying? You want to come up against us for coming for for speaking the truth, you know, and planting all these uh, damn agents, you see, which is totally fine because we know that's what you do, man. You're a liar. It says in the scriptures that the, the wicked, uh, 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 you know, go boosted prayer phrase, uh, phrasing are estranged from the womb, man. You see, you grow up lying, man. You see, but all this, you know, all this wickedness and all this. Uh, Oppression is going to be end soon. The so-called white man is going to be destroyed by Yahweh, by Shimei Yahushai, you know, for your treachery and for your lies, man. And you, you know, you Gadites, man, repent, turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. Turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. You see, this is the only solution we have. We've already tried to be, you know, diplomatic with these people, man. They have proven that they're just disagree disagreeable demons. You see? The only alternative that we have really turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. All praise to you, how by Shim how Shah. And double honor to the apostles and others that rule well. And peace to you, brothers out there that's kicking this word, man. Shalom.